guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I decided to go for a inspired look based on Ariana Grande's Thank You Next video. I have seen that video so many times and I really, really like the whole like video. She put together all the 90s movies. I'm a 90s baby, which all the movies that are on that video are like one of my like top favorite movies. So I really, really enjoy watching that video and I wanted to create one of the makeup looks that she was wearing. So I decided to go for the very first makeup look that she's wearing at the beginning of the song. And when she's like kind of, it's like the Mean Girls inspired when she's writing kind of like in the burn, uh, burn book. So I really, really like how this came out. It's very like bronzy, very... Um, smoky sultry so before we get started please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there and if you want to know how i got this ariana grande inspired look then just keep on watching i'm going to take my concealer and i'm going to start to prime my eyelids and this is just going to be our base and for ariana's look she has a super or the look that i'm going for has a super um simple makeup um like wearable I mean the others are super wearable as well but I decided to go for this one today because I really like kind of like the um the shades that she has and then the kind of like the smoky eyeliner that she has it looks really pretty so I'm just gonna prep my other lid and I straighten my hair I know that Ariana has like a really like blonde wig on um and I mean I'm blonde ish and my hair is so long, I'm so excited. I've never had it this long. And um, as you can see, like my this is like my real like color hair, like my natural hair. I'm gonna take, like I said, the um, Jaclyn Hill palette, and mine's like super dirty, so don't mind it. Um, and then when I got this palette, now they're doing like the little plastic thing with the like names on them um, of the actual shadows. And um, when I got this palette, they didn't do that. So what I did is I went on the Morphe palette, um, Morphe palette, I went on the Morphe website and I printed the, um, picture they have with, like, the shadows and, like, the names so that I can, like, when I film, like, I can tell you the, the colors that I'm using from the palette. Um, so yeah, this is a palette right here. It's a super pretty colorful palette. Um, so for the first color, I'm gonna use, um, Crimsicle and I'm taking a Morphe M535. And I'm just going to apply this on my crease. She has a very warm um, shadows on. So I just want a, a little bit of a transition here. It doesn't look like she's wearing like highlighter or even blush. More like a bronzy look. Very bronze look overall. And then to warm my crease, I'm going to take the color Pukey in that same M535. And apply it on top of that. So over the weekend, I watch all the Insidious movies. It was not a good idea. Because last night, I couldn't go to sleep. I just, I couldn't fall asleep. I ended up sleeping like three and a half hours before I had to wake up uh, to go to my um, morning shift program and that kind of sucks so I'm a little bit sleepy and then I went to December nights on Saturday it's like a event they have here um, Balboa Park and it was fun they have a bunch of um, vendors like food vendors and like it's a park and they have there's like a lot of museums and um on saturday the museums were like free for like i think like three hours so that was so fun it was packed though a lot of people wanted to obviously see the museums i'm gonna take a sigma e40 and i'm just gonna blend my edges this is a clean brush so that's what I did this weekend. It was a super lazy weekend. What did you guys do? I kind of like started like planning out my 2019 goals. I think I mentioned it in my last video that I wanted to start doing that. So I kind of started. I need to finish. There's like literally like two or three weeks left in the year. For my lid, I'm going to take the ColourPop Kathleen Lights um, 
shock shadow and I believe this is a this is a uh, co collab that she made with and that just fell I can just squeeze it in I can't believe that just fell okay, so I'm just gonna take it on um, with my finger and it's a very uh, pretty bronzy look and I'm just gonna pat it on my lid and then from there I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a wing liner and um, the way that she has it on the picture is she has a wing liner and then it's kind of like smoky so I'm gonna try and do that I I don't think I've ever tried like doing a like kind of like a smoky eyeliner so that's gonna be a first so I'm hoping it comes out you know nice <laughs> and then I was kind of like shaving my face and I don't know as you can see I kind of like sliced my face right here and it burns a little bit burns a little bit for my liner I'm gonna take the Tarte Tardius um, liner and actually I had to put a little bit of the drops from Duraline or the Duraline drops from Inglot because it was a little bit dry I actually need to get another liner because my favorite NYX ink liner um, it started like bleeding on me I think like two tutorials I think that it was during the James James Charles tutorial I think and I was like so upset because that's like my favorite liner but I'm just gonna take this super tiny MAC 210 um, liner brush and then it's super super tiny and I am just gonna take a little bit of that liner go ahead and moisturize um, my face I'm gonna come back to my liner and smoke it out once it's like completely dry so I'm just gonna move on and moisturize my face I'm gonna apply my foundation and I'm gonna use my ColourPop uh, like uh, no filter liquid foundation and I'm just gonna dot this so do you guys see Manny's collection reveal um, the packaging is so pretty but I did find that it was kind of expensive. I love the uh, packaging for the palettes, yet for the liquid lipsticks and the um, the lip gloss, I didn't like that it had the diamond on top. And then he kind of like mentioned that um, like with the price, it was like because of the packaging. I low-key did not like thought that was like okay I don't I didn't like that he mentioned that because of the packaging the price had to be a little bit higher and to be honest like I was like thinking like maybe if you were to not have that like really fancy packaging then maybe like the price could have like gone down um, I'm not gonna pick up any of the collection but I just thought that it was like I don't know I don't know I just didn't like that it was because of that the price of the liquid lipsticks and the um, lip glosses were was like a little bit like higher than that I mean I would pay less than to have that like diamond like floating diamond there you know so I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer and I'm gonna do a little bit of cream contouring as well I'm gonna take my stick foundation from um, Colourpop and this is in the shade 161N and to set my under eye I'm gonna take my Bare Minerals um, Well Rested Powder because I finished the um, where I did actually didn't finish it but um, this is the Fit Me um, Translucent Powder and I have powder in here but I just I can't I can't take this off like the little thing and I just can't use it and it's so sad so I'm gonna have to use that one to set my concealer today and then to set my face I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix powder and now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze and contour my face I'm going to take my favorite, my uh, Dulce de Leche Wet n Wild Contour Palette 
and I'm going to take the contour side and start contouring and kind of like bronzing my face because like I said she has a very bronzy look on her face she doesn't have um, I couldn't like see if she had like a like blush she definitely didn't have any highlight so it's a very matte foundation matte base Okay, so I want to bronze up my face a little bit more. So I'm going to take the True Match. This is just a like powder, but I have it in the color W7. And I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M527. And I'm just going to bronze my face. I'm just taking the uh, color Avis, I think it's called, from that Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to start by smoking my liner upwards. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that pukey color on my lower lash line. I'm just going to take that black eyeshadow on Alexi 223. And it's a super tiny brush and super dense. And I'm just going to apply that really close to my lower lash line. So I'm going to take my, um, this is the Rimmel Scandalized Rimmel Eyeliner, and I'm just going to apply this on my waterline. For my lashes, she has very natural lashes on, so I'm just going to take my favorite, which are the um, Salon Perfect 614s, and I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara, put my lashes on, and I'll be right back. I'm just going to set my brows real quick, and then while my eyelashes are drying, I'm going to do my lips which I have, she has a very, very glossy look and the scene that I pick. I think I found the right combo, but it might not be as peachy as she has it on the, um, like on the video. And I'm going to post, post like a picture um, so you guys can see like the resemblance kind of. Um, but yeah, she has a very peachy look. So the way that I'm going to try to achieve that, I'm going to pair these two right here. And this is the Too Faced um, Melted Liquified Longwear Lipstick in the shade Melted Nude. And it kind of has like a peachy um, undertone. So I'm going to apply this. Oh yeah, I think, I think this is going to work. I think it's a good shade and then to make it super glossy I'm gonna go in with my NYX butter gloss in the shade tiramisu Okay, and now to set everything in place, I'm going to use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Oh my god, I love this setting spray. It's The mist is so fine that it's like you just want to pour it on your face because it feels so nice. So that is it for this Ariana Grande inspired makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there. As always, all of the products that I used in this video are going to be linked down in the description box. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!